So I'm going to show you how to use the Avada page title bar, which is this feature right here. And it's auto-generating this information from the page itself. So uh, the page title is example page. <laughs> so this is our example page. And this is the navigation. So it's going from home to example page. So if you have uh, like a blog, it would show like the category. It's essentially the structure of the the page. Um, anyways, I'm going to show you how to set this up and uh, how to change some different options as well as far as like the styling and different things. So let's jump into it. First of all, I have it set up right now. I don't really um, use the page title bar with the websites I build. I know it can be useful depending on the type of website you have, but um, so I just I'm not going to use it on any of the other pages other than this example page, which is essentially hidden. And to do that, you can actually set a page title bar on individual pages. So if you edit the page, so you just click edit page right here. So you're going to open up the page editor and you scroll all the way down to the bottom page options. You'll see page title bar right here. And it was on default and by default we have it turned off in the global settings so it was not appearing but you can manually set it to show uh, show bar and content or just uh, show content only or hide completely so I set it to show bar and content so that it's showing up here where we can see it so we can mess around and do some different things so breadcrumbs search bar so there's some different options as far as what's going to display here. These are called breadcrumbs, just like I was talking about. It's essentially the structure of the pages. Uh, you can think of a breadcrumb like a trail, so it's like leading back. This page is going to lead back to the home page. Um, so you can choose, like let's say we want to have a search bar on here. <clears throat> we can take a look at what that looks like. Okay, so now we have an uh, actual search here where people can search for different things on the page. Um, so that is an option as well. So we're just going to set this to default. And then there's also headings, so you can choose to show or hide the heading. Um, and these defaults are going to be set here. So if you come to the back end under Avada options and then navigate, to page title bar these are the global options so when, whenever it says default here what it's saying is it's just gonna pick up whatever settings you have in here however if you have your whole site set up in here one way but say this is one page where you want to have a search bar instead of breadcrumbs then what you could do is just switch this one to search bar and then the rest of your pages would still have the default setting so you can do it on a page by page basis or on a global basis if you have you know, hundreds or thousands of pages or blog posts or whatever then it's better to use the default setting and when you're building the page so that would be you know here leave everything to default and then set it globally um, so yeah you can change all of these in, as well as text alignment you can actually set custom text so if you want it to be different than what the page is called then you could you know essentially add your own example text and then we can change the font size so let's say we want it to be 35 pixels I think it's set to 25 right now so it shows us what the current setting is and then we can change the font color um, on gray white's gonna look really good orange probably wouldn't look too bad you can choose the line height, so that's going to be, uh, say this text is too long and it drops down to two lines, it's going to be the spacing between the two lines there. So you can set that, set to 1.3 right now, you just kind of play around with it until it looks right. And then you can have custom subheading, and then choose the font size to that as well as the font color for the subheading. You can choose the width, so right now this is set to site width which means there's a break point in the site right here where like nothing's going to go left or right of this this area right here if you set it to 100 percent width then these are going to go all the way over to like the edge of the screen right here 
And really that just depends on how large the screen is the person's viewing the site from. So you can toggle that on and off through default or individually on each page. And then you can also choose the tile bar height. So you don't want this to be too big. You know, if you have one that's 350 pixels, then it's going to be pretty big page. Well, it's going to take up a large portion of the <clears throat> the top of the page, which is the most valuable part of your page, the part people can see before they scroll. So I would not advise having one that's this large. In fact, if it were me, I would probably make it something like... 85 pixels we can take a look at that and see what it looks like so this part that people see before they scroll is essentially the most viewed part of your website because people see it before they scroll so some percentage of people will never scroll on your website so this looks more reasonable here this is probably a better size uh, so you can change the actual size of the title bar here <coughs> excuse me you can change uh, the mobile height so say on a mobile device this is taking up way too way too much of the screen which it probably would and then we can just reduce the size here and then you have the color of the background here and then you can also set borders so you could have like a light gray with some borders on the top and bottom which would probably work a lot better for this case here um, so I would probably do something like somewhat light and then have a dark border and then you can also set an image if you want so you could actually just design something here and then have the image be behind the text and I've seen that look really cool actually when we've built some sites using that uh, like big e-commerce sites where people need to be able to know where they're at you can use a really cool looking image back there so that's uh, the basic page title bar the Avada page title bar elements here then in the global elements section for the page title bar you're going to find all sorts of other stuff so you can hide the page title bar so like I was saying at the beginning I don't have it on the rest of these pages uh, just on this page where I'm showing you how this works so that can be hidden globally you can also choose what you show whether it's just the content or if it's um, so you could you can have it just show the text without showing anything else that's an option and then again we can use the search bar or none you can turn this off entirely uh, and then the, also the headings can be toggled on and off and we've gone through a lot of these really what I just recommend is if you're coming through and setting this up you can just play around with it so adjust things save it just like we've been doing throughout this this video uh, you know it's kind of the web design process so test something out see what it looks like if it doesn't look good tweak it and keep reiterating until you get it looking like you want so I hope that was helpful if there's anything you have questions about in terms of the Avada page title bar or anything else uh, don't hesitate to reach out you can just drop your questions in the comment section below uh, or if you're looking for help with marketing you know, feel free to reach out we're always here to help and uh, until next time, take care.